Hey guys, and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about sculpting. This is part of the quick tip series on my channel. You can check it out later after this video if you like. Alright, so what we're going to do first here is we're going to get rid of uh, all this stuff in the scene because we really don't need any of this. And we're going to go ahead and add a new mesh. And I'm going to go ahead and add a Suzanne just because she's a good test mesh. And I'm also going to change her subsurf levels and I'm going to go ahead and apply that modifier. Just like that. I'm actually going to... I'll go ahead and put it up to two. I think my computer could probably handle it. <laughs> Alright, and I'm going to change this to smooth. Actually, I'm going to change it to flat because you're probably going to want to see what this is doing. So now if you look here, I'm going to go to sculpt mode. It's in the drop down over here with object, edit, and sculpt mode. Now in sculpt mode is basically a way that if you're familiar with ZBrush, it's basically ZBrush built into Blender. And if you aren't, aren't familiar with uh, ZBrush, then I guess you're about to get a little bit more familiar with it, kind of. <laughs> in the Blender interface, we have sculpting. And sculpting is great because it allows us to basically manipulate things with a brush. Kind of, It's almost like messing around with clay with our hands in a sort of way. And in many things, there are actually clay modifiers. But I'm just going to work with the brush setting right now. And I might go through all these in later tutorials, but I just wanted to get into sculpting a little bit and show you all what sculpting could do. Because sculpting is a very powerful tool in Blender. And it does help you do advanced character modeling. So let's say Suzanne's uh, mouth here is a little bit small for me. And I want a bigger one. Or I want more just a lot. She wants to be a gaping face. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to be in the brush and I'm going to change to subtract. And this is a good amount of radius. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to start holding down the mouse button. And I'm just going to start clicking. And you'll notice that, oh, yep, she's getting a little bit more of a gape there. But, you know, it's not just doing it for me. And now it does look a little weird. And sorry, I'm really not very good at sculpting. But we'll change it up a little bit. And now I'm going to, oh, man, I, oh, that may be too big. <laughs> uh, we'll change the strength up to one, though. And so now, oh, man, she has a very big gape. <laughs> Looks like she's just got a hole shot through her face. That is fantastic. Um, so yeah, she's really gaping at us, and so that's what brush can do. Brush can also add, which then draws around it, and oh man, we are really messing up Suzanne here. Um, and then there's also other things. Uh, inflate blob and brush are all sort of the same, and so is sculpt a little bit. Um, within these tools, you have to learn the actual specific tools, but smooth is also another good one, which just smooths out the vertices to get, you know, just a more natural looking result. Like, oh, okay, see? That looks, that looks a little, <laughs> it does not look a little better at all. Snake hook is also good. These ones that are typically like this are a little bit more harsh tools, whereas the other ones are typically more soft tools. And by harsh, I mean that, see, you can clearly see that this quickly does a lot of damage to the mesh, whereas with, and you know, it's like snake hook, you know, quickly does a little bit of, uh, does a little bit of weird things. Um, I'm actually going to undo that. That gets in the way a little bit. Um, grab, you know, see, that's a bit more harsh, whereas blob is, well, it's still pretty harsh here because of the strength I have it on. It's less severe, and it kind of gives that little bit of tumor thing, but it looks almost natural in a way. And then, uh, of course, some of these I don't exactly know how to use because I've never used them myself. Um, we can also look here. Uh, stroke. Uh, stroke is just different ways of how the actual stroke itself works. Um, these methods are more for a fine-tuned person. If you're just trying to do some basic sculpt painting because you don't want to go in and, you know, manually move around these or even, you know, turn on proportional editing and pull it around like that, like, it, this may not be the perfect thing for you. It's Sculpting is somewhat similar but a little bit easier to use. It's just a nicer UI and whatnot. And sculpting, we just wanted to get into a little basic tutorial for it. So, yeah, that's about it for today. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. Leave a rating and a comment if you liked it. And maybe even subscribe. All right. Thanks. Bye.